Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. I also have a little special guest with me today, Shantae. She wanted to be in the video this morning. Huh. Hi, baby. And we are here to talk about a very exciting haul. A haul from none other than Destination Wax. So without further ado, let's get into it. Destination Wax has been around in the vendor wax world for a little while now. I definitely hauled them years ago when I was buying from every vendor and melting everything and being all crazy with my vendor wax explorations. And Rebecca Harris, who is the owner, has a very unique way of creating wax. What I love about vendor wax is every vendor has their own niche. What makes them special, which is so different than mainstream candle companies. And what Rebecca does is creates these destinations. All these fragrances are very thought through. They're not like honey crisp apple, berry waffle cone, pumpkin pecan waffle extravaganza. They're very simple. They're not crazy blends, but what they are are fantastic. Now, whenever I used to order from her, she did a lot of destination boxes. So London, China, France, um, circus. Like she would do different destinations where all the fragrances were in a certain theme. I'm not sure if she still does that. Um, her website and the way she does her restocks, etc., are a little bit different than whenever I first started. So. From what I understand and how I place this order, on the first of every month, she opens up her website. Typically, it's everything she makes. So, all the fragrances are available in these blocks, which are a six-pack of bars. She calls them breakaway bars, which I really like because you can just snap it into a piece and pop it in your warmers. And then she also sells scent shots. So... It's just all personal preference. And I believe most things are available in both forms. And those are ready to ship on the first. And then she offers her loaves, but she actually calls them foil pans. Now, if you do oil foil pans with your order, it does not ship immediately because she hand pours those. She hand pours everything, but she pours those to order. So I placed this on August 1st. Today is the 18th. I received this a few days ago. So... A little over a two-week turnaround time. I have plenty of wax. I'm not worried. But if you don't want to wait the turnaround time, I believe you can just order from her on the first of every month the breakaway bars and the scent shots, and they'll ship immediately, like within a few days. That's from what I gathered. But I have a lot of exciting scents here. I also have a bag of samples. So, of course, which smell amazing, by the way. Let's dive into the samples. When Rebecca sends you your samples, they're all nicely packed in this brown paper bag with a little um, compass stamp. And it says, thank you, Drew, enjoy, Rebecca. And there are four little shapes in here. And the first one I pulled out, and I will say I did smell everything, I could not wait, is sugar vanilla champagne effervescent champagne laced with sugared vanilla. Now, one thing I also really like about Destination Wax is the uniqueness of her shapes and the uniqueness of her wax. Her colors are just faint enough that you can tell there's a color, and then she adds just a little bit of shimmer, almost like a like diamond dust. And this is really nice. I, I can pick up on the vanilla, a little bit of that effervescence from the champagne, it's a really nice, really cool blend. I'm really, I really, really like that one. And there's one in here that I definitely am going to order on my first order. The next one we have is a Velvet Moon Exotic Sweet Blend of Patchouli, Plum, and Black Vanilla. I'm not the biggest fan of patchouli. But mixed with the plum and the vanilla, it tones down the patchouli. It's not bad. It's definitely like a, a hippie type of scent. Definitely, if you're into those kind of scents, you would like that. For me, it's not bad. I'll melt the sample, but I don't see myself ordering it. Then we have applewood, you guys. Ugh. Applewood. Smoked cedarwood, red apples, pear, ginger, and honey. And I also love her, like, 
craft paper colored labels. And applewood. Oh, you pick up on the apple right away. Cedarwood. I'm having a hard time smelling the cedarwood. <sighs> to me, it's like a... It is a woodsy apple. I don't necessarily think it's cedarwood. I mean, it is, but... To my nose, it just smells like a very woody, creamy, sweet apple. That's really yummy. Woo! And then the last sample I have is in sugared spruce. I love anything sugared spruce. It's my favorite type of Christmas scent. I don't really like balsam or fir or anything like that. But sugared spruce, totally up my alley. And this says, a sweet and fresh blend of blue spruce, sweet berries, balsam, cedar, and sugared vanilla. And this is amazing. It's a sugary, sweet, almost... <clears throat> When you think of a spruce tree, and shout out to my friend Deb, who talks about spruce trees growing up in Wisconsin, that they have a very sweet smell to them, almost like bubblegum. It's not a bubblegum scent, but the sweetness of the spruce trees almost comes across as like a candy floss, cotton candy type of scent. I totally get that vibe from that, but... It's so good. I definitely want to order breakaway bars at least in that. Should I start small and go big? Yeah, we'll start small and go big. So, I did pick up three scent shots. Two, three, and I picked them up all in the same scent. She does post on her Facebook group uh, before the first, the list of scents that are being discontinued. She blends a lot of scents to create her own house blend of the fragrance. So if one of the oils is being discontinued, she obviously either has to reformulate the fragrance or unfortunately <clears throat> discontinue the fragrance. And for this scent, I remember ordering this back in the day, fell in love with it, and I'm like, do I want to order it because it's being discontinued? Her comments say she's tried to replicate this scent, but she just can't get the formula right. And I'm like, you know what? Life's too short not to have scents you don't like, and I'm not going to not order it because I can't get it anymore. And this is in Huckleberry Muffin. Now, on her full-size products, the products you pay for, not the samples, she does also include ooh, a pour date, and this one is poured on May 6th, 2021. It's beyond ready to go. I typically like to let all vendor wax sit at least a month before I melt it, but this is beyond ready. And Huckleberry Muffin says, sweet buttery muffins loaded with juicy huckleberries. And again, I told you, the color's just like a very faint purple. You guys, typically when you think like a huckleberry muffin, it's going to smell like blueberry. Like in your mind, it's like, oh, it's going to smell like a blueberry muffin. It does smell like a muffin. A very buttery muffin. Like if you closed your eyes and smelled this, you would know it was a muffin scent. Huckleberry... I'm not really familiar with huckleberries to know what they smell or taste like, but it's, it is a sweet berry scent without being overpowering or cloying. Oh, it's so nice. I don't want to talk too much about it because she did discontinue it, but I pray that she finds another oil in the future that smells just like that. It's so good. Now, on to... Oh, she's stuck. The box of breakaway bars. I have a good amount. I think I have like 12 breakaway bars here. So the first one we have is leaves and this said apples, autumn leaves, warm spices, and a bit of sweetness. Similar to BBW. Now I will say these are pretty thick bars. I'll probably break these off and put one cube in every warmer at first just to see you know and then play around with it. I do know one thing about Destination Wax it's consistently strong from everybody on the Facebook groups and what from my, from what I remember years ago. And this smells just like the Bath and Body Works one. It's apple cidery, like a mauled apple cider. A really rich, really warm, cozy apple cider that's just juicy, like it's been on the stove for hours. Next, we have banana apple bread. I'm a sucker for anything banana, and I knew when I said, when I found this, I needed to try it. Warm banana bread with apple chunks, walnuts, and cinnamon. I mean, yes. So it's interesting. 
You know immediately when you smell banana bread, like any type of banana scent, it's heavy on cinnamon and nutmeg, and then the banana is there? This is definitely 50-50 banana and apple with a little bit of that bakery bread. I will say Rebecca doesn't have a ton of bakery scents, which is like something I really love, but her fresh scents, as you'll see in here, are out of this world. And this is something I like to talk about with people too. I'm a big bakery person. I melt bakery six out of seven days a week. I love bakery scents, but if your nose, you start to be like, I know I melt banana apple bread all the time and it's always strong, but now I really can't smell it. Tell me this, pop in a laundry scent, pop in something super fruity, pop in something that's not in that bakery category, floral. I know a lot of people don't like floral, but pop in a floral, pop in something that's totally different. It almost resets your nose and, and your nose is like, oh, I smell that. Maybe it's not my favorite scent, but trust me, once you melt that for like the a couple hours in your home, take the wax out, pop in something you love, you'll smell it again. I promise. Mmm, banana apple bread, so, so good. And if you're not a big fan of like super cinnamony bakery scents, I think you'll really like that one. Chocolate covered strawberries. From another vendor, I ordered a chocolate covered strawberries and I'm in love with it. I actually ordered it in a bigger size, spoiler alert, coming up in a haul soon. And this says dark chocolate and fresh strawberries. Nothing more, nothing less. And yes, I am a sucker for fresh picked strawberry scents. I know Rebecca from Des Rebecca's Destination Wax. She has a scent called Strawberry Seeds that I need to get my hands on. It always sells out super fast in these breakaway bars, but I might just wait the turnaround time. I think I'm going to love it anyway and just order it in a foil pan because I never get tired of strawberry scents. And this is that fresh picked strawberry with just a hint of chocolate. Another thing, I feel like if you don't like chocolate, you'll still like that. It's not like overpowering chocolate. Pumpkin puff cookie. You know I have to have my pumpkin scent. Buttery, puffy pumpkin cookie with spicy cinnamon, clove, and nutmeg. So right in the description, it's telling you this is spicy. You guys see those TikToks with like the cats or the dogs drinking sparkling water in their bowl and they're like, eh, this is spicy. I get the spicy from this. It's definitely like a red hot cinnamon. I'm not picking up much, much of a pumpkin scent. To me, it almost smells like if a snickerdoodle was made with red hot cinnamon, like a spicy cinnamon cookie. Not exactly what I was hoping for with the pumpkin cookie, but it's still really good. Now we have coffee hazelnut, and it's simple, hazelnut coffee. I do plan on getting breakaway bars in all of her coffee scents in September because I love coffee scents, especially, I'll change out my warmers. These warmers back here are all on a timer, so I'll change them out at night, pop in new wax before I go to bed. So in the morning, I'm still in bed, and I never sleep anyway, so chances are I'm probably awake. But when my warmers turn on, they immediately start melting, and I love to have a coffee scent going when that happens. And then I'm like, the coffee is ready, and this is hazelnut coffee. And it is. You know, I'm a Nespresso guy. I have a Nespresso machine here. Love me a Nespresso. Let me tell you, are you team Nespresso or team Keurig? If you're team Keurig... You can unsubscribe now. No, I'm just kidding. But Nespresso are the best coffee machines. I love my Nespresso. I make an iced coffee every single morning whenever I have one. And you know whenever you press the button and the coffee starts brewing and you instantly get that smell, you instantly get that happiness from the steamy coffee? I smell that right here in this wax with just a hint of that creamy, rich hazelnut. It's to die for. Then we have Autumn. Shout out to my girl Valerie. She's the one who told me to order Autumn from Destination Wax. Autumn, to me, is an extremely over, under, 
underrated candle from Bath & Body Works. It's such a good scent. It's way more apple and fig forward than a typical fall scent, but I love it. And this says red apples, balsam, fig, and eucalyptus, similar to BBW. And to me, it does. It smells a little bit more on the fig than Bath & Body Works. But I don't have any problem with that because I love the scent of figs. And every time I smell that autumn candle, I, I just get happier and happier. I love the way that it smells because it's not a quintessential autumn scent. You get that rich, rich, juicy, almost drippy, sweet fig with the crisp apple. And then you have the outdoorsiness of the balsam and the eucalyptus. But it's not like... A spa fragrance so don't think when you think eucalyptus that it's like nose clearing spa it's definitely not it does have that really really um just a fresh outdoorsy scent next we have bonfire marshmallow bonfire bliss and sugary marshmallow i was definitely curious about this because i love a, a marshmallowy scent and like a campfire and I have to say, it's I'm not getting much from the bag. And this was poured on 621, so it's it's good and ready. I get a little bit of a marshmallow. And like, see, these are big bars, but yeah, I'm not getting much from it, to be honest. Just like a really light marshmallow. And I can smell the like bonfire type of scent. But it's definitely not strong on it. And, like, I know Destination Wax is strong, and I know people really like this. So, I think once I pop it in my warmers, it'll be stronger. Next, we have Pumpkin Apple Preserves. Such a fun color. Chunks of fresh pumpkin and apple preserved in a light spiced vanilla syrup. Interesting. I love a fresh pumpkin scent, and I can't find it for many people. I found it in this. It is that fresh canned pumpkin and I, I always make this reference I say fresh canned pumpkin like the Libby's canned pumpkin which is not necessarily fresh pumpkin but it's still as fresh a pumpkin in a can as you can get mixed with what does it say it just says apple preserves so like a jammy jellied apple I don't necessarily think it's like a honey crisp apple maybe just like hmm not a green apple either. It's not sour. Oh, it's really good. And then a touch of vanilla syrup. I really pick up on the fresh pumpkin and apple. It's really, really good. Cider Lane. This, 100%, I'm getting it in a foil pan on September 1st. I love Cider Lane, and I love plain old Cider Lane. There's another vendor that mixes Cider Lane, and it's fabulous. Kirby, <laughs> if you're watching, you know I love you, and I love your Cider Lane blend, but, oh, uh, Cider Lane is so good, and I do not understand why Bath & Body Works doesn't bring it out every year, because it is such a good caramel scent, and like this year's Halloween candle, Wicked Apple, it is like caramely apple, like Cider Lane, but it's not the same, it's not, and it's not as good. Sweet green apple cider, lightly spiced with a hint of caramel. Yes, buttery, rich caramel. This 719, so today actually is exactly a month. Dare I pop this in my warmers? I need to wait until I know I have a loaf coming to me. Or two, because this is a scent, even though caramel apple is a is like a fall scent. I could crave it all year long. The second I smell Cider Lane, that's another one of my happy scents. I, I just love it. Then we have Cranberry Pumpkin. Baked cranberries and pumpkin, sweet, rich, and lightly tart, inspired by the BBW candle. It's really amazing how Bath & Body Works originally wasn't even a, a home fragrance company. Inspires and makes so many well-known and respected fragrances that, like... I mean, it's almost like the standard, like, this smells like Bath & Body Works this. This smells like you mix Bath & Body Works this and Bath & Body Works that. Like, it's crazy that it's so well-known around the country that I, it's just, it's amazing. So, Cranberry Pumpkin. Yes. 100% tart, juicy cranberry with rich, spicy pumpkin. 
You definitely pick up equal on both. I love pumpkin and I love cranberry. This does not smell, however, like um, a baked cranberry. It definitely is more of that tart, juicy berry. French baguette. And this actually doesn't say it's a Bath & Body Works type. Freshly baked and buttered French baguette. Another candle fragrance that I love. Now this, amazing. You pick up on a buttery, buttery, crusty bread. Uh, you know whenever you just get a fresh baguette and you break it open and it's crisp and the crumbs fall and you put on this butter that for some reason every time you go to a restaurant they always give you butter that's hard as a rock and I actually have to like hold it in my hand for a little while and or I actually put the pat of butter under my leg on the booth so it warms up but I, I don't understand why they do that like it's meant to be spread on bread and if it's hard as a rock I can't spread it anyway I love the scent of bread, and that obviously did not disappoint. I'm just knocking through these. An another classic fall fragrance, pumpkin pecan waffles. Pumpkin pecan waffles, lightly sweetened with brown sugar and maple syrup. The first time today, I actually was smelling that candle, and I really pick up on the brown sugar. Like, I'm thinking in my mind, brown sugar, and as I smell it, I really do. Pumpkin pecan waffles is that cloyingly sweet waffle with a pumpkin jam, pumpkin jam, pumpkin pecan, deli oh, just absolutely delicious. I wear the body care, I have the candle, I have it in my car, room sprays. If my life could be pumpkin pecan waffles, I would not be upset. Totally different end of this uh, spectrum. Again, like I told you, I do like my fresh scents. We have pear salad. So this is a blend of her fresh lettuce and her red pear. So the description just says slightly fruitier than fresh lettuce. It's so interesting because you definitely smell fresh lettuce. Like a fresh crisp head of lettuce. Not one that's been sitting in your fridge wilting for days and then you end up having to throw it away because you bought the lettuce knowing you were going to eat healthy for the week end up working a lot at work, going to McDonald's drive through coming home, looking at the lettuce whenever you grab yourself uh, ice cream. Oh, um. Anyway, healthy. Red lettuce, red pear and fresh lettuce. Oh, so good. Juicy pear with that crisp lettuce. Odd combination. Never ever would think about eating a pear salad, but I'll melt it. Four more to go. Ooh, frozen, frozen. Ah, uh, cold menthol plus essential oils of eucalyptus and peppermint. I was watching Etta's video this morning. Shout out to you, Etta. Okay, this is literally down here, and she smelled something, and now I can't even think of what it was. And she was like, <coughs> and I was just, I was laughing in the car, and then she goes. Now that you were all laughing at me, and I was, yeah. I know Danny from Danny Loves Wax. I'm just shouting out everybody today. Danny Loves Wax loves this scent, and I can see why it is nose clearing, peppermint, and eucalyptus. If I'm ever sick, which, I mean, I'm bound to be sick, everybody does, especially with the winter coming, um, I'm saving this bad boy for when I'm sick and popping that in my warmers and being like, when I can smell it, I know that I got my scent back. It's powerful. Peppermint. Powerful. Jelly Cronut. This says flaky, buttery croissant donut filled with blackberry, raspberry, and strawberry jelly. Who loves a cronut? I do. That's another thing. I I'm giving you guys a lot of things today. Why is it wrong to be basic? I've talked about this before. Obviously, cronuts are still super popular because they're incredible. Dominique Ansel did something right whenever he decided to mix a flaky, buttery croissant with a donut and created a cronut. Add some jelly into this, and it's a winner, baby. You got 
yourself a jelly cronut. It's amazing how you know the difference smelling a donut versus a cronut versus a croissant, etc. This smells like a cronut, like a true bakery yeasty donut, but it does have that croissant element. It's crazy. Next, we have 221 B Baker Street, which is a classic Sherlock Holmes fragrance. And this says, the warm, rich scent of sweet, fresh cherry pipe tobacco, vanilla, and deep, soft leather armchairs. This is another scent. It's masculine, but the cherry pipe tobacco sweetens it up. Is there vanilla? Yeah, vanilla. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's definitely sophisticated, man. Like, if I walked into a man's apartment and this is what it smelled like, I would be like, he knows his sense. It's not just mahogany teakwood up in this apartment. Like, he actually knows sophisticated scents. The cherry tobacco, the vanilla, a little bit of leather. It's fantastic. I could honestly see myself getting a loaf in this scent. Foil pan. Foil pan. I keep forgetting. They're called foil pans. And then the last breakaway bar is Cranberry Woods, BBW type, another fabulous scent. We have cranberry, blackcurrant, cinnamon, and a bit of cedar. Another underrated candle, in my opinion, for the fall because it's that tart cranberry, those rich woods, fantastic. And I believe... I've melted cranberry woods with like a marshmallow scent, so I might actually do the bonfire marshmallow and the cranberry woods together to create my own scent, and I do believe I ordered a loaf in that from somebody in a custom, and I'm super excited to try it. And then last but not least, can anybody guess what I got my loaf in? And this was actually poured 813, so she's fresh. She was just poured the end of last week. Palo Santo. This is Warm and Mellow Palo Santo Wood Amber and Soft Musk, BBW type. You guys. Palo Santo is my lavender. There's so many people that love lavender to go to sleep. I love Palo Santo to go to sleep. I mean, this is going to be my staycation fragrance. I'm instantly relaxed anytime I ever smell Palo Santo. It's just fabulous. I, I, I can never get enough of it. I mean, it's it's such a good scent. It's warm. To me, I always describe it as fancy wood, like you're buying your wood from Restoration Hardware. That's how fancy and sophisticated it smells. It's so good. Clearly, this was an amazing haul. I'm super impressed, as always, with Destination Wax. And I do want to make a little statement. I've been buying a lot of vendor wax. There's a lot of vendors. I haven't ne necessarily made a final list of, like, my top five vendors. Hopefully, I'd like to have a video on that by the end of the year, because I've definitely been getting a lot more into vendors. But for me, personally, I like to support brands. I like to support vendors. But... I definitely feel like I have a, a special, like certain vendors have a special place in my heart, and I definitely want to make a, like, I got this new Ikea dresser that has eight cabinets in it, and to me, like, when I start ordering from so many vendors, there's so many different restocks, I like to get a good amount of wax from, I got cut off, I like to get a lot of wax from one vendor and, like, fill up the bin, and I... I just, I get overwhelmed, like, I think right now on my Facebook, I belong to, like, 16 vendor groups, and, like, some I haven't even ordered from, some I want to order from, and, like, I'll place an order, but, like, I just feel like I get super overwhelmed, and I'd rather have a small group of vendors that I support and order from regularly than, you know, placing one order with a vendor every six months. Like, to me, I'd rather be regularly placing an order with one five vendors and like reel it in because I've definitely getting back to my roots and I feel like a lot of new vendors are popping up left and right and it just gets super overwhelming as a shopper and I you know it's awesome the wax community is amazing um but I definitely feel like for me there's a lot of like old school vendors and when I try them and I've I I'm gonna have another haul video coming up from I'll just say it, Rose Girls and I love 
Rose Girls. And as soon as I got a box in the mail, I instantly was brought back to nostalgia from Jenny and her company and how much love and, you know, time she puts into everything. And, you know, I want to support the OGs still and, you know, brands that have been around for the beginning. Not saying that, you know, some of the newer vendors aren't, but definitely... I feel like I personally get overwhelmed by ordering from so many different vendors. Let me know if you feel that way. Um, but I definitely think narrowing it down to max five vendors I order from regularly. And I can already come up with my five and the other ones I'm like, yeah, it's nice. Maybe every once in a while I'll place an order. But I definitely have my five in my head that I'm thinking about. But anyway... I will leave the link to Rebecca's Facebook group down below. Definitely join her group. It's a great group of people. And again, super fun. The first of every month she opens. And I definitely plan on now, on being a regular customer again. Now that I'm definitely into the Vendor Wax world. Fully immersed in it again. And I, I'm loving every second of it. Just don't want to get overwhelmed and burnt out. Because that's what happens to me every single time. And I think for me personally, again, uh, regularly buying from smaller, small, from a vendor group is easier for me. But anyway, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you've tried vendor wax, if you've tried destination wax, if you feel like I do where you just like to support, you know, a few vendors regularly, or if you feel like I like to buy everything from everybody and I'm just going to buy from all the vendors. You know, everybody has a different way of doing it. It's just how I feel. Definitely, let's get the conversation going down below, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.